Welcome back and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Today is going to be another sort of book versus movie um, video, but today is going to be a book versus uh, seven part TV show <laughs> video um, because today I am going to be talking about Big Little Lies. Yes, I have just finished watching the um, the TV adaptation which I got on DVD. I know it was out um, on TV March, April time. I'm pretty sure I saw it in the UK when I was back in the UK in March. I watched the first episode. Um, but it was on HBO over here and we don't have HBO here and obviously I don't have Sky either. So um, yeah, so I missed it and I've been waiting on getting the DVD from the library which is why I don't have the DVD here to show you or hold right now um, because I had to take it back to the library because there was still about 186 people waiting for it. That's how popular this series has been. I think there has been a lot of hype around this series. Now, this is a bit of a toughie for me um, and I'll just get straight out and say it because uh, Big Little Lies was one of my favourite books. Um, I think I must have read it 2015, I think. Um, unless it was the beginning of 2016, but I read it a long time ago, um, and it has stuck with me. It has stuck with me as sort of one of my favourite reads. All the, um, Lyanne Moriarty books that I have read, um, have been on audiobook, um, because they are narrated really well, um, and so I've kind of stuck with them on audiobook, um, Husband's Secret and, um, is it what Alice forgot? Uh, I've listened to them all on audiobook and yeah it stuck with me all that time and I have to say I really struggled to, to get through the TV series. The kind of the only reason I decided to kind of watch the whole thing uh, was because I knew I was going to make a video about it and I wanted to make a full comparison. I listened to the whole book so why would I not we uh, watched the whole TV show. Um, yeah, I was really disappointed, I have to say. I just, I found the TV show really quite boring, which is the complete opposite to the book. The book was one of those books that, you know, I would get into work in the morning and whilst I was making my cup of tea and like starting up my computer and checking my emails, I would still be listening to the book because I wanted to carry on listening to it. I'd listen to it until I had to do something with, that involved interacting with other people. I would sit in my car when I got home from work and, you know, finish listening to the chapter that I was listening to of the book. I sort of would listen to it in the house, which is not really something I did with audiobooks at that point, because when I was in the house, I was either carrying on working or going to sleep. Um, but yeah, it was, it was so compelling and so exciting. And I just really felt like the TV show was so slow paced in comparison to the book. Like the book seemed so fast paced and so compelling and the TV show I was just like I would find myself like wandering off and doing other things while I was watching it. I'd find my mind wandering, I'd pick up my phone and start checking my phone and I was really trying to focus on the story they were trying to tell and I just don't think that they got the same pacing as the book did and one of the things that stuck with me about the book and why I feel so confident still talking about it a couple of years on is that it was so fast paced. It was so, I've got to carry on reading. I've got to find out what happened. Whereas the TV show I feel was just complete opposite of that. Um, the sort of, the second comparison that, um, that really kind of uh, stood out for me was the way the sort of flashback slash flash forwards happened. Obviously the book and the TV show both start with knowing that something has happened at this trivia night and you know somebody uh, you know has been injured or there's been a crime being committed and we know that right from the start and this is how a lot of Lyanne Moriarty's books begin we know that something's happened and then we have to kind of like flick back and forwards and find out exactly what happened um, and I don't know in the book like it's it's quite a difficult thing to do to kind of flick back and forth and keep track of what was happening but in the book they made it much clearer exactly what was 
flash forward and exactly what was the storytelling about what had happened. I don't know why it seemed so much clearer. And again, I listened to this on audiobook, so it's not like I had a physical copy that I could flick back and forth between. And then the TV show, I found it quite confusing, like what was going on in that flash forward or flashback. There was a lot of flashing lights. There was a lot of very short snippets of people talking about what happened. And not, yeah, I really struggled to kind of have that part of the story as a part of the story. I, I struggled not to stay in the present, past, whatever you want to call it, the actual story that was being told about the women and the families and the children. Um, and I really struggled with the flashback. I think it was done much better in the book than it was in the TV show. As I say, I think part of it was the flashing lights. Like There was always this kind of soft focus flashing light going on, which I wasn't so keen on. Um, and then kind of the third sort of issue that I had with it was to do with kind of the the lighting and the music and I think <coughs> sorry I think one of the things that made it kind of slower for me with the tv show rather than the book was the fact that we had these shots where we had like shots of close-ups of the waves and um like music and there was a massive thing with necks um, I was I was saying this to uh, Ollie was sat next to me while I was watching the final episode and I was saying look there's another close-up of her neck oh and look there's the side of her face with her neck and oh she's touching her neck and we've got a close like there was it was lots of kind of odd close-ups that I think kind of like I don't know made me more confused about what was going on and re remember I do know the story I have read the book but I fa found that kind of, yeah, these shots where things were in soft focus or where Jane was having a flashback or where um, Madeline was having a flashback, it was kind of like, it was just all a bit much. I was like, I really just want to know the story here and I'm really struggling with the fact that, yeah, we've got, yeah, this kind of it, arty music going on and then you know a close-up of a neck or you know um the waves or a, a like long shot with soft focus and it was just i don't know I, I wasn't as keen on that i thought that the um the kind of the passion and like the sex scenes in particular I thought were done really well obviously you can read about those or sort of listen to those um, if you're listening to the audiobook and you know picture them in your head but I thought they were done really well they came they seem kind of hot and steamy and the kind of sexual tension between some of the characters I thought was done really well um, and so that's kind of where the series was equal to the book but yeah I think this is the first time I've done <laughs> A book versus movie where it's like mm, really didn't like the way that they dramatized it I just yeah I really I wasn't a fan I have to say and I know that that's controversial because it's you know got all these nominations for things and people have gone mad for it and they've been enjoying it but I was just like oh I think I'd rather sit and, and reread or re-listen to the book again. I was not a fan of this particular adaptation. So there are my thoughts. Um, I haven't included any spoilers in there. We know right from the start of the book or the TV show that something has happened and there's these people and, you know, it's all a bit of a mystery with flashbacks and there's some sexual tension. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments if you've read the book and seen the TV show or if you think the TV show was really well done um, I'd really like to get into a discussion there uh, if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up um, and please please click that subscribe button uh, I would be eternally grateful and uh, tomorrow's vlogmas video will pop right into your subscription feed um, so yeah I will see you tomorrow with vlogmas day 14 thank you for watching bye